Okie doke. I think we're rolling. Looks like we are anyway. Oh, you guys can probably hear the Skyrim but not see the Skyrim. Let's do that. Is it going to update? Hmm. One second. I think I know why this isn't working. Oh, yeah. That'll be why. <laughs> One second. Let me add the Skyrim source. I'm all ready to play Assassin's Creed Origins. I thought I'd fix that. Whoops, my bad. Well, let me fix that. Skyrim. It's because what I did. Is that going to work now? I was going to be over top of everything. How awkward. You can't see me. Okay. Hey. <laughs> now it's working. We got there eventually. It's great. I can do this stuff in real time. I can turn myself off. I can turn myself on. I can turn you guys off. I can turn you guys on. Oh no, I just wiped out all the chat. <laughs> Keep talking. Anyway, I should be more careful about that. How oh, did I actually just murder it? I hope it keeps going. Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake, guys. <laughs> what have I done? Oh no. Do I have to start the stream again? Ugh, this is what I get for being a sh Oh man. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. How do I fix that? That's awkward. Ah, there we go. I fixed it. You're back. You're all here. And nobody watching the stream archive will know what was said during that 30 second period where I couldn't figure things out. <laughs> yes, ASMR decks. Nick 2018 quotes. And they're just eminently quotable. You're welcome for turning you on. I'd tap that. Anyway, what's up, guys? How's it going? To the Sayer Musu. Hello. Good to see you. I'd tap that, of course. Hunt Waffle. Ricky. Dapper Kangaroo. Jake Falco. What's up? Extreme Gaming. Hello. Sir Riley. Jay the Kid. Welcome. Rosemary. Hello. Got to do the, the standard introductions here. What's up, Riley96? I've got Sir Riley96 and Riley97. I have to make sure you both get your dues here. Hot Waffle Thoric, what up, boy? Frank Bro. Miles, hello. Infinity. Scooter. Scooter4200. I feel like your day was... Uh, yeah, the day before yesterday, right? Um, anyway, it's wonderful for all of you to be here. I'm excited to have you here, and I'm excited to get back to some Skyrim tonight. Um, let's jump back. Did I say your name twice, Hunt Waffle? I said it at the beginning. I might have said it again. I was just reading down the list. Hello, Malin. Great to have you here. I don't know if I said ASMR decks at all. Hello, ASMR decks. Sometimes it's, uh... Oh, the common player. You were previously Mud Dog 77 All right, well. The artist formerly known as Mud Dog 77 Welcome. Walrus, hello. <laughs> Three times. ASMR decks. ASMR decks. ASMR decks. Does that summon you? Do you appear behind me if I do that? Sometimes it's tough when I'm just like reading down a list of names that are scrolling by really quickly and sometimes it's hard to know who I've said or not. ASMR Dex, did I say you? I'm not sure if I did. <laughs> anyway, I got a couple messages from people saying they wouldn't be able to make it out tonight. Shout out to uh, Versace is better than Gucci who emailed, or messaged me earlier and was like, I can't make it out, but say hi. And same for Draconis who can't make it out tonight, but wanted me to say hello to all of you on his behalf. So that's what I'm doing here now. 
uh, record high for concurrent viewers is yeah, I think it, around 120 or something. I think at one point Cat Plant rated and it peaked up around 120, 130. But the highest uh, sustained average for uh, a stream, I think, is around 80 uh, or 80 something on average for a stream. So that was two weeks ago, I think, the last time we did Skyrim, I believe. Might have been the time before that. But uh, anyway. I'm excited for this stream too. And yes, Draconis is a true gentleman. He's a stand-up guy. Extreme Gaming wants to know what spring is like right now where I live. Spring has uh, fully sprung. <laughs> it is. Um, it was a sunny and warm day today. Uh, all the flowers are out on the trees and on the ground, all the daffodils and tulips and hyacinths and all that. Uh, and the wildflowers are coming out now. And we have some really beautiful wildflower meadows around here. Um, and these sort of unique endangered ecosystems called Gary Oak Meadows. And we uh, have these lovely wildflowers that show up there in the springtime. Um, and so I always look forward to that because I love going hiking. I love going like picnicking and stuff when all the flowers are out. Bo and Noah, do I have any recommendations for a new one? Well, this chair that you all <laughs> worship is pretty solid, um, but I can't remember the model off the top of my head, so I guess I don't have any recommendations. Moose, you, you like some of that spring over in Michigan? I wish I had the power to send it to you. You could always come over here. Malin, I, I, I love this little stream community as well. It's fantastic. Let's get some Skyrim music going again here. <laughs> what if Draconis is pranking us? He might be. I don't know. He just sent me a message before the stream here. Was I around for when Little Dove thought I lived in Washington? No, ASMR Dex. Did she, uh... Well, Pacific Northwest. Like, it's close, right? It's probably the same in everyone's head, but no. I do not speak Portuguese, RLF 122. The chair could probably use a nickname, yeah. All right. That's right, Victoria, BC. West Coast, Best Coast, etc. <laughs> Start some West Coast, East Coast beef in the chat. <laughs> you need somebody to do fan art of my chair. The sacrifice of for the chair. It needs to be all like demonic, like a chair in a pentagram with like flames or something. And poor ASMR Dex is the sacrificial victim on the floor. Kankis, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Can Kankis Kankis or Kanchis Kanchis? Uh, I love you too. Thank you for coming to the stream tonight. Cherry McChairface. If I say no, does that mean I don't have a sense of humor? Tricky Cube in Toronto wants to know if I'm coming to Toronto. Uh, I don't... Uh, oh, thanks for hosting, Miles. I appreciate that. Uh, I have no plans to visit Toronto anytime soon, but if I am, ever, I will announce it on the channel so that maybe we could have a little meetup. Why you, ASMR Dex? Because you volunteered to be the sacrifice, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yes, the spooky ghost girl would have to be in the in the scene as well. What's up, the female Kira? Hello, good to have you out. It belongs, yes, it used to belong to the ghost girl. I bought this used, and the ghost girl was the original owner. She lives inside the chair. She is the spirit, the ghost in the chair, if you will. Justin, <laughs> when am I coming to Australia? Oh, I'd love to visit Australia. I'd love to visit, well, I don't want to go everywhere. There's really nowhere that I wouldn't go in the world, probably, at least once. I, that might not be entirely true. I'm not really urgently needing to go to, like, North Korea or anything, but... Who's the secondary sacrifice? I don't know, you guys are going to have to work that out on tonight's pee break. <laughs> A 
ASMR world tour, tingle tour. I'd be so down. You guys, if you help me sell out some stadiums, I'll do some live ASMR. Portland is actually pretty uh, conceivable because that's not that far away. Like I could come down for a weekend and uh, it's a cool city. There's a good uh, craft brewing scene there. And there's a couple of ASM artists down there that would be pretty cool to meet up with as well, as well as viewers, I'm sure. So maybe uh, one of these days I'll head down to Portland. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna call you Bobby. Bobby, I appreciate that, thank you. I appreciate your <laughs> heartfelt statement. What are we drinking tonight? That is a great question. We are, I've got, I have a very special beer tonight. Tonight's beer is, um, is something strong, actually. Here, I'm gonna wipe this down so you guys can see it's got condensation built up on it. Let me just use my sleeve here to um, I got something again from Driftwood Brewery which I know I've been getting a lot of Driftwood stuff lately uh, they were the ones with that super cool uh, spooky moth and spooky crying lady <laughs> um, Jay the Kid recommended apple juice maybe I could get like an, an apple cider or something one of these times Pure Nachos, welcome. I'm glad you made it. I didn't have a chance to reply to you when you messaged earlier, but I'm glad to see you here. Hello, Nath King, Nath King, O2. <laughs> Driftwood needs to sponsor me. You guys, go to Twitter. You need to at Driftwood, uh, Driftwood Brewing, I don't know, look it up and tell them they need to sponsor me because I'm doing God's work and I'm shilling their beer on these streams. But seriously, their labeling is so cool, I can't get over it. And uh, I have seen this one in stores before, but I've never um, tried it. But I think this might be one of their best labels, actually. Um, their beers are good too, for what it's worth. It's not just the art, but... So this here is the 20 Pounder Double IPA. And I don't know if you can appreciate right now what's so cool about this, but... It's supposed to be, the 20 pounder refers to a cannonball, and this is supposed to be like a ghost pirate or captain who's had a hole blown through him because he's got this, you can see the beer through right through his middle. And uh, here, I'll show you. I'll, let me just turn on the flashlight on my phone and then you can see the light through the beer. This might just blow out the camera, I don't know, but let's see what happens here. Uh, too much coordination, oh god. Uh, 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 there we go. There we go. So you can appreciate how awesome that is. Okay. So, their Twitter is at Driftwood Beer. Thank you, Thoric. You're a bro. <laughs> You're, uh, doing what I need here. What's going on in the chat now? I don't even know. Maybe don't spam them aggressively, or else they might be like, who's this clown? But I would totally, <laughs> I would totally drink a new drift food beer every week, um, because their beers are fantastic. They have uh, some really solid, this is an IPA. This is a double IPA. So it's 9% uh, ABV, which is like twice as strong as your average beer. And uh, so I've actually got a smaller glass here today, because I'm going to pace myself, because this could get dangerous. But let me read to you their flavor text for this beer. It says here, The field of battle is sown by the careless hands of death. That flower girl with pockets red and blue. The sky shows the furrows of cannon's arcs, the sparks lately fired. A charge of pine and citrus hangs heavy on the wind. A moment of silence. Then, the 20-pounder thunders on. <laughs> so, uh, 
yeah, this is a pretty serious beer. And the art represents that. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Apparently it's very hoppy. I think it's around 100 IBUs. Uh, and it is uh, very strong. So looking forward to trying that out. What even is happening in chat here? Chug, chug, chug. Yeah, let's just, let's just knock this back. Just down in one go. And then we can start the stream. And I'll bring the second beer in. No. No, no. I agree, Vaus, quite a poem. The, um, oh, I should, <laughs> while I'm showing for these guys, um, the design agency that does these labels is called uh, Hired Guns. Hired Guns Design, I think, or Hired Gun Design. And they're based not too far from where I, where I am. Uh, they're from a, a town on the island here called Nanaimo. And uh, they do um, other uh, alcoholic bottles and cans and beverage containers as well. But I think uh, certainly some of the most iconic and awesome work is from the Driftwoods, Driftwood series. Okay, let's pour some of this out. See how this smells, see how it pours. It really does look like Magic the Gathering card art, doesn't it? Or like, this looks like the cover of a metal album, to be honest. This looks like some kind of like Iron Maiden album cover art with like the, the horse, the galloping steed, and like the zombie pirate. I agree, the chat's hopping tonight, it's fantastic. It's chatty, but I can keep up with this. Okay. Oh, I can already smell the hops. Like, right in the first nose of it. it smells, um... Citrusy. Very hoppy. A little bit piney. I'm competing with the official Bob Ross Twitch stream. Is that up right now? I could never compete with Bob. There was only one Bob Ross. Oh, ASMR Dex, thank you. I appreciate that. I had uh, a very busy week this week as well. Well, busy might be the wrong. Well, shut up so you can hear the pour. <laughs> I don't know if you care, but I like the sound of beers pouring out. What do you think if I am peaked at 85 right now? That's awesome. Excellent. Well, hello to everybody who is here over and above the normal crowd. I mean, hello to the normal crowd as well. But um, So, what was I saying? I don't remember. I guess it wasn't that important. But the beer, as you can see, pours this kind of mm, amber, a fairly clear amber. And yes, dramatic beer pouring music is important, and it seems pretty fizzy. The head, although, is pretty modest. One might say thin. And uh, a little bit on the foamy side. And uh, yeah, it definitely smells fruity. It smells very fruity right up front. Uh, it smells delicious, actually. I do not smell any alcohol off it, so let's try this out. Wow, you know, for um, something that's advertised as so hoppy and for something that's so strong, it's remarkably drinkable and well-balanced, which is dangerous. Quazuba, you're literally coming from Bob Ross right now. Well, welcome. <laughs> like I said, I can't compete, but uh, you'll get some Skyrim here. You'll just get pictures of Skyrim-like landscapes on Bob Ross stream. Nath King, or Nath King, First time on for the live stream. Well, welcome to you too. Thank you. <laughs> Look at how welcoming everybody here is. Could I, could a guy have a better, like, chat going on? This is fantastic. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. So, this is yeah, really good. It's um, 
pretty carbonated. It is a little bit boozy. Like, you can taste it, but it, it masks it well, considering uh, that it's 9%. And, uh, the first hit is kind of bitter hop. Um, and then, uh, um, mm, kind of a, a breadier body that then finishes with hop again. It's good. It's really good, actually. That is much more drinkable than I expected. What's going on here? Bob Ross stole scenery from the series? No, let's be honest. Skyrim stole scenery from Bob Ross. Nat, or Nath King, you watch the archives on YouTube, but lives are so much better. Yeah, it is. It's more fun to be. I mean, no offense to those of you watching the archive right now, uh, because I really appreciate that you check it out there too, but uh, it'd be great to have you all out here, <laughs> because uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun here. All right. Twitch user, this chat's really nice compared to the rest of the internet. That's how I feel about, like, the ASMR community in general. Protect this chat. You protect, you can attack. But most of all, we're just chill. <laughs> Big fam, exactly, Jay the Kid. Todd Ross. Yes. I love it. Someone's got to do that. Someone's got to do like a Todd Ross roleplay where they're like role playing Todd Howard painting Skyrim scenes like Bob Ross. Any of you are free to use that idea because it's not going to be me. Ma, Moose you. Everyone here is your best friend. That's really sweet. <laughs> you guys are awesome. It's nice to have. It's cool because it feels like I, you know, we have it just a chat here full of really good friends, like I said, like Musi was saying. Ax Di Marino. You wanted to say thanks for my hard work. Oh, you're so welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you for your, your heartfelt kind words, and thank you for coming out to the stream tonight. I don't think I've seen you in chat before. Okay, where are we adventuring today, sir? Justin getting me back on track. <laughs> By the way, I'm just going to plug Justin really quickly here. Justin Jed Zorbus in chat there. He makes some pretty cool music, and uh, uh, last week or the week before, not that long ago, he put out a, um, an album of like fantasy-themed music. Um, the name of which is escaping me right now, but you can mention it in chat there, Justin. Um, and it's really, really good. Um, I've been listening to it while I work lately, but it's available on his uh, Bandcamp. So if you guys probably just Google his name and Bandcamp, you can totally check it out. But it's got some really chill stuff on there, as well as some little, a little bit more intense stuff. But it's, it's really well done, and uh, I'm quite enjoying it, so... Oh, sh is Draconis here? Did he show up? It was a prank. I didn't even see what he... <laughs> Draconis, you showed up. I gave you the shout out saying that you wanted me to say hi to everyone because you weren't going to be here. But here you are. So now don't I look like an idiot? Yeah, there you go. Justin gave the information on his album there. You guys should check it out though. No problem, Justin. It's good music. Axe de Marino, you're new to Twitch, but you've been on YouTube for a while. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad to have you out here. Okay, but for real, actually. <laughs> Scooter, you told your roommate you were busy because you're here. That's fair. I'm not, that's great. Uh, we we're playing Skyrim tonight, obviously. So let's get going, because this has been a long talk session. I feel like every week, uh, it's a longer pre-stream talk, but also I've been a little late getting started for the last little while, so I guess I usually start the game right around the half hour mark. That seems pretty typical. Where the heck are we? Oh, that's right. We're Cloud Ruler Temple. 
I was like, for a moment, I had this moment of panic where I, this scene looks a lot like where I stopped playing Skyrim VR last time, and I was like, somehow did I get the saves confused? But no, 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 no. ASMR deck says, the stream talk didn't last as long as last week. Well, uh, thank you for keeping track. Like I said, it, I think it seems usually around the half hour mark is where I finally convince myself to come play some video games. This is like half IRL stream, half Skyrim stream. You want to see the high-res potato? Check out this potato. Check out this potato. Somewhere. Oh, it's a stolen potato, no less. Look at this beautiful potato. That is the most high-resolution potato I have ever seen in a video game. It even has like the little eyes, little potato eyes are modeled. It is an incredible potato. <laughs> but seriously though, it's pretty impressive. This is from the uh, High Poly Project mod for anybody wondering. Uh, I should update that because I think they've been adding to it actively and it does a f phenomenal job of remodeling a lot of the incidental items in the game. <laughs> Trilico says, as an Eastern European, European, this makes them very happy. Shook Tato. You want a full video where I talk about high-res potatoes? Maybe next uh, April Fool's Day, I'll review a potato. How about that? All right. And we've got Inigo here, who's all kitted out in Blades gear. Well, sort of, partially. He's wearing like padded leather armor or something stupid, but um, he's got the blade shield, Blades helmet. And uh, it is a little bit low right there. That particular view, for some reason, my FPS gets stuttery. And it gets smooth again up here and smooth again back here mostly. Funny. Are we getting some drop frames? Oh, maybe, maybe you're getting some drop frames. I don't know. Yeah, we do have partial drop frames. Why? Why does my stream do this? Well, we're just going to roll with it right now. So hopefully uh, it keeps going. It's pausing as well. Uh, stream, why? It's funny, as soon as I start playing the game, everything explodes. If I just leave my screen stationary, it's probably fine. Draconis, your girlfriend disappeared? That's uh, somewhat worrisome. Can you find her? Yeah, I don't know, guys. Refresh the stream. Cypress Avenue says refresh it. Are we still dropping frames? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to roll for a little bit here. We'll see if it clears up. If it doesn't, well, you know, we can always restart the stream. Because <laughs> that seems to be a solution. Uh, so what the heck were we doing here, guys? For those of you who don't remember, we are in Bruma. We just completed a quest here at Cloud Ruler Temple, which those of you who have been playing Elder Scrolls for a while might remember from Oblivion. It was a critical part of the, the main story there. Um, but... Oh, you're at a winery. Draconis is joining us from a winery. If you're at the winery with your girlfriend, you should enjoy some nice wines. I mean, I guess you can enjoy wines and watch this stream too. No one says you can't. Um... But yeah, we're in the Bruma mod here, and so we have like Northern Cyrodiil to explore here. Uh, what were our main quests right now? Let's find out. Um, right, finding this lady's husband. Um, uh, Forsworn Conspiracy is not here. We had some other miscellaneous quests. Oh, right, missing horses. North of the Bruma stables. So why don't we go see if we can find some horses here. Is it still buffering, guys? I, I do see that I've got about 10% drop frames, which is actually pretty high. Uh, although my bit rate right now isn't too terrible, but I think I just need to start paying for faster internet. Pretty sure that's the solution. 
You guys remember we fought some pandas? They're technically called masked bears, but they look like pandas. How's Mittens doing? Mittens is doing so good. Oh, guys, remember? Remember the hat? <laughs> Mittens is doing so good. Mittens is... is the, uh, the goat. He is just fantastic. Okay, so we are looking for horses. Uh, I don't know where exactly, but we are north of the Bruma Stables. Uh, so they could be anywhere around here. So let's go. Here, horsey, horsey, horsey. Where are you? I feel like stream chat's lagging a little bit. I feel like, oh, I found the horses, guys. Oh no, they're under attack. Oh no, I thought that was a wolf. But this looks like, do you think this is the stolen horses? Speak to the mysterious Bosmer. Okay. Oh, hello, buddy. Um, hello. Uh, what brings you here, of all places? Well, actually, uh, this one is looking for a horse that uh, disappeared from the Bruma stables. Or I could say I'm just admiring the view. But we'll see what we're here for. I feel like Mittens would probably just be straight to the point about this. Oh, really now? That's interesting. Very interesting. Almost as interesting as, say, Rotmeth. I love a good mug of, of Rotmeth. In fact... Rotmeth? We... Now, get him! Uh oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh, oh, not good. I'm gonna let Inigo kill that guy while I hang back and drink some potions. Uh, I might be out of health potions. I don't want to waste my sleeping tree sap. Okay, new plan. We're going to cast some healing. Oh, this guy's still following me. Come on, Inigo. I need your help, bud. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, no, that's Inigo. Did he do it? And he goes such a bro. He just fixes everything. He's amazing. Also, look at that accuracy right through the head. Brutal. All right. What is a briefing? Well, let's just take all this junk. Oh, carrying too much. We'll go loot the other guy. Chat's a bit behind. Yeah, I thought it might be. Drop frames is still going up. Yeah. All right, let's read this briefing. Let's see what it says. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll set up a camp in the Gerald's and lure the horses away with the promise of some sweet rot meth. For some reason, in my experience, they seem to love it, even the smell of it. We'll bring them down here and keep them until we can find a buyer. Simple, easy way to get rich. We'll be living the high life in no time. Emergency procedure. If someone should discover us while we have incriminating evidence, like horses, visible, I'll distract them with idle conversation. If you hear me use the code word rotmeth, which he did, you'll know to get into position. Then I'll signal to you when the time's right to get the sorry fool. Don't screw this up. Otherwise, we're all going to be in for it. I hear Bruma's guard captain isn't easily bought. <sighs> Draconis, you drinking your girlfriend's wine? Chat is late, but the frames are going up. Good. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Probably because I'm not moving around, but as soon as the action starts again, we'll see. Okay, well... I'm glad that we uh, resolved the issue here. Now I'm just going to drop some stuff because apparently I'm carrying... Oh, actually, can Inigo take more? I bet you can. Trade okay. some things with me. Let us see what we have. Okay. That was a strangely specific plan, don't you guys think? <laughs> like, exactly for the situation they found themselves in. Um... Yeah, I can't remember if Inigo can carry more or not right now, but let's find out if we can give him some stuff. 
Just give him some heavy stuff. That's the heaviest stuff. A drum. Oh, now he's full. Okay. Okay. Let us Just gonna have to it. dump some stuff. Inventory management, always the best. Always the best. What's some? Uh, we get rid of that. We get rid of that. What's weighing so much that I picked up here? I don't even know. Don't even know. We gotta keep Renaud's cheap loot. Oh, steel warhammer. A couple of crappy steel swords. There we go. What armor is uh, Inigo wearing? It is, uh, as I mentioned, uh, blades for the helmet and the shield, but I think this is just padded leather. Uh -huh. Pretty sure. What are we trading? Because that's what he wanted to wear. I gave him blades armor, but... Oh, it was Colovian fur armor. That would be why it doesn't look familiar. Inigo is my favorite sky bro too. He's awesome. All right, Draconis, thanks for dropping by. Appreciate you stopping in. Maybe ca uh, catch you later. If you swing by later. Say thanks to your girlfriend for letting you swing by for a bit. <laughs> later, Draconis. Okay. So, uh, let's head back to Burma. It looks like the drop frames is going back down again. But do let me know if it peaks up again. Oh. Oh. Literally, Bruma. <laughs> I didn't realize we were so close. Ash Hope, welcome. Glad to have you here. Uh, what's been happening? Uh, mostly uh, some talking, a little bit of beer, a whole lot of lag. Wait, did I miss the gate? Where's the way in? Oh. Apparently I only just now discovered the Bruma stables. Who have I got to talk to here? Is it someone at the stables or is it someone in the town? I guess it's someone in the town. I do like the follow up games, yeah? You under arrest. Now speak your piece. Whoa. This is for murdering, this is for Inigo's rash action. You guys remember when Inigo murdered that bard? Which, by the way, totally justified. Um, wow, the Mittens thing to do would be I'd rather die than go to prison, but I really don't want to deal with that right now because there's no way Mittens can win this fight and I don't want to make an enemy of the entire city. Where did that guard come from? <sighs> I guess we'll just pay off this bounty. That sucks. It's a lot of gold, but... It was worth it. This was the price for the hat. Think of it that way. This was the price for this bitchin' hat. Let's get this straightened out. Your stolen goods are going back to their rightful owners. Wait, is he taking my hat? Is my hat considered stolen? No, he's taking my hat. Did he take my hat? Oh, I still have my hat. All right, we're good. I was panicking for a moment there. No, we good. Excuse me, sorry to bother. I don't suppose you've seen any priceless Sagavir heirlooms gallivanting around Bruma, have you? Oh, certainly no. Definitely none of them. <laughs> the blade stuff is all Akaviri. Actually, yes, I have a whole barrel of them in my pack. That's not even a lie. I literally do. <laughs> but, uh... Kaji Tesori, what? Akaviri heirlooms, priceless Akaviri heirlooms. Seen any? <laughs> I like how I say what and he literally just repeats himself. Uh, why, yeah, yes, uh, this one has a whole barrel of them in this one's pack. <laughs> Very funny. I'd laugh if I weren't too tired to get the sound out. Uh, no, seriously. <laughs> just, uh, let me know if any do crop up, yeah? Thanks. What is all this about the Akiveri heirlooms? A whole lot of uproar about nothing, that's why. The Count's been is the hat part of a mod? Yeah, it's part of this mod. Things. You see, the 
Carvanes have a sort of family tradition. They've acquired a taste for Akaviri artifacts, constantly collecting more and more. Been going on for centuries now. I like how your guy's solution to everything is just murder. I mean, it's fair. That's that's mittens. Count Carvane isn't too happy that his collection has been stolen. Your tone. Tensions between you and the Count? No, not tensions as such. Just... I'm tired. I've had four sleepless nights in a row. The Count's talking my ear off about these artifacts and it's stopping me from tending to more important issues. Uh, not that I'm disloyal to Count Carvin, of course. I've never had reason to dislike our ruler. Better him than some of the other Counts and Countesses in the province. Uh, you mentioned more important issues. Yes, this damned artifact business doesn't affect anyone except the Count. Well, Mittens is a straight-up murder hobo. Bobbles, people are getting killed by bandits and waylaid on the road. I mean, we've got Thorina's cutters roaming the Gerald and harrying travelers for Stendar's sake. It sounds like we've got some I'm bandits to go murder. After trinkets. Like some lost paint horse looking for its master. Yeah, could you use some help searching for them? I. Well, that. We talking about the artifacts or the bandits? Absolutely. This is driving me crazy. I guess we're talking about the artifacts. Just bring them back to me when you found them, and I'll be extremely appreciative. And I mean, extremely appreciative. Seriously, I'm like offing myself right about. Malin, you're both 15 seconds behind. You counted the time between when he said chug and I drank the beer. To be fair, I don't think I drank the beer in response to him saying chug. I think I'm just drinking the beer because it's good. Uh, what exactly was stolen? Wow, there's a lot of dialogue here. Uh, <laughs> like this. Uh, how did the thief even get inside the castle? Uh, just wondering, of course. Yeah. Got to watch out for the ways thieves can get in. I have no idea how they'd manage that, honestly. Either adept stealth or good luck. Probably a bit of both. Okay, fine. <laughs> Is that apple juice? Sure, we'll go with that. Really, really strong apple juice. Pardon me. That's not even that strong, really, but... What was the question there? Did ASMR desks ask something? ASMR desk? I think you should call yourself that from now on. Okay, uh, what exactly was stolen? Like the very artifacts. I don't know anything more specific than that. Brignar and the Count both told me, but honestly, it flew in one ear and out the other. If you want to know exactly what artifacts to keep your eyes peeled for, talk to Rignar. I'm sure he can help you more. Stream than. delay. Miles, I saw that about. Uh, I said that about a second or two after I saw it. <laughs> What's up, ASMR desk? Uh, all right. Uh, when and how were the artifacts stolen? I'm not too sure on the details of that, to be honest. Rignar, the castle steward, was the first one who noticed them missing. Could be worth speaking to him, if you think that's interesting evidence to dig up. 13 seconds isn't too tragic. I think that's... It's not ideal, but it's not awful. I didn't actually hear what he said. Uh, do you have any suspects? Then again, the low lives of Bruma don't exactly hide themselves all that well. The shadier tavern in town, the restful watchman, full of thieves, bandits, thugs, and other miscreants, might be a decent place to start your search. Okay. He said something about a, a inn or something like that. I actually, again, didn't really listen that closely to him because I'm always reading stream chat when people are talking on stream. Mittens does not have the power of the Thu'um. <laughs> but uh, we could follow the main quest and he could get it. He will eventually. Elder Scrolls game set in Akavir could be, Akavir could be cool, yeah. Um, 
no Ross, I just haven't progressed that far yet, that's all. Main quest. Uh, okay, so Absent Antiquity. Retrieve Count Carvane's lost Akaveri heirlooms. That is really broad. I think he just gave us some examples, but Castle Broom I discovered. I think I would have discovered it when I was dragged in there kicking and screaming, but oh well. Okay, so he mentioned some kind of inn uh, where low lives hang out, I think, but I don't know where that is. I haven't seen it yet. I've been looking for you. Oh, I saw a package here with your name on it. Just a second. Is that innuendo? Here you go. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else. I'm sure we'll cross paths again, though. Only level 13? Yeah, I guess so. All right, what did you just give me? Hastily scrolled note of thanks, was that it? What is this? I'm writing this in haste, so don't expect any fancy words. Not that I know all that many of them. But I made you a promise. I promised you when you freed me from my bonds in the bowels of that oblivion damned imperial fort. Oh, hey, it's it's the crazy stormcloak, bro. Uh, putting your own hide on the line for my sake that I'd find some way to reward you. I don't remember what he sounded like, otherwise I would try and do his voice. Well, friend, I may be many things. I'm just going to guess at it. But I'm not a man without honor. So here, have this. A rich sum of gold. Five hundred septums, to be precise. And my thanks. Good old Bjarni Shatterstone. Bro came through. That's awesome. Wow, thanks Bjarni. Goodbye Jay the Kid. This will be difficult, but we'll make on without you for a little while here. Ghost with the most. Serpent Pass is actually included in there. Ah, nice detail for the mod authors. Will Mittens become a thief, an assassin, a greybeard, or all of the above? All right. Oh, we still have to turn in uh, uh, the, the that, <laughs> which is apparently right up here. Who are you? Rizada the Resplendent, Enchanter Extraordinaire, Illusionist Incredible, Restorer Remarkable, and Destructor Distinguished at your service. And he sleeps in the back alley. Okay, I'm willing to bite. Let's talk to him. Hey, buddy, get up. Please. Greetings. Oh, okay, we'll just wait for him to get up here. Uh, why do you hawk your wares in Pruma? Or no, actually, do you have a house or a bed? An intriguing inquest. I do indeed have a bed. Well, a bedroll. Good night, Vausk. Have a good night. I do not own property in Bruma, for the city is full, and I am somewhat of a, a late comer. That, and not being registered to any property, grants the Synod and College of Whispers less opportunity to persecute, hound, maltreat, and um, <clears throat> molest me, <laughs> as they are wont to do. Cannibal assassin, thief, beard, mittens. Exactly. Uh, are you with the Synod or the College of Whispers? Why, of course not. No self-respecting mage joins those scurrilous syndicates. Ah. Oh, awesome. my friend, I'm strictly independent. That's what allows me to cut out the bumblebee. Thanks for the follow, you Dustin Crutcher. Uh, why hot your wares in Pruma? Bruma is the last bastion of Imperial land before the border and the harsh ravages and independent college of the Skyrim. Those he poor souls Skyrim? Who find themselves overcome with vexation at the shockingly bureaucratic nature of Cyrodiil's key magical institutions, well, they tend to, um, peregrinate to Skyrim. When the Imperial border guards halt them at the Selvage, so to speak, they lodge in Bruma. Mostly, my wares are in great demand. Hmm. All right, we'll come back to this guy. Farewell. He seems interesting, but oh, look at that sky! Wow, those are some bright, bright lights. Brightest northern lights I've ever seen. Welcome back, Walrus. Head now, Ricky. All right, have a good night. Thanks for coming by for a bit. All right, uh, where the heck, where the heck am I 
dropping this stuff off. I'm not dropping anything off, I just have to tell the, the stable master that I succeeded at. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where. where I actually have to leave this or uh, deliver this quest. I don't even know. It looks like it's sort of like in the wall of the city. Maybe in the stables. I guess that would make sense. Ross, you can't wait till stream 147 when we finally get to the Thieves Guild quest. Yes, it'll happen. It might happen around episode 147. Ugh, of course I can't get in, because it's nighttime. Okay, we're just gonna have to get a room for the night. Sleep till the morning. I may serve Count Carvey, but I take command Definitely Frank Bro, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic so voice acting. Skyrim, I'm surprised the war hasn't spilled down here yet. Who, who's saying that? Oh, scary, I guess. Respect the law. Respect yourself. Uh, Ray Saint Nath Martin. King. I'm just calling you Nath King because I—that's what your name looks like. Uh, I absolutely have graphics mods on. Yeah, I have a ton. Go back to the old Gerald view in in here. Silverfall. Uh, when do I normally stream? 7 p.m. Pacific time on Sunday evenings. Every Sunday. So I started like an hour ago ish. All right, let's buy a room here. Like to make a room. You did well. To your room rental peruse it at your leisure. Our customers find it very rejuvenating. All right. It's okay. I know where it is. Thanks, Frank, bro. Feel free to call you Nate King me. or O2. If you want food or drink, I can show you our menu. Printed on only the finest parchment. I'm your okay. Hands and your satisfaction. I just want you to leave my room. Thank you. Please leave. Okay, you can awkwardly stand in the hall if you must. I only have one person who I let stand over me and watch me while I sleep, and it's an ego. Get a good rest here. Trucker boy Steve, welcome. Glad you can make it out tonight. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm feeling severely thirsty. Better eat. It's that guy in the inn he's complaining about. Says Walrus. Yeah, there's the inn. There was the guy that was complaining about. Was it this inn or the other inn? I don't even know. Let's eat some food. Baked potatoes. Good for breakfast. Probably drink some water, eh? Oh shoot, that's right. I couldn't refill my water here, so... What did I do? I was drinking... I think I turned ale into water. Yes, good. <laughs> Either that or I was just about to get real... real drunk. Uh, I think I'm still hungry. Salmon steak? Is that cooked? I think so. Well sated. Okay, we're good. This is absolutely the inn where the Argonian discusses politics in the bath. We could go back down there and see if he's there. <laughs> oh, hey buddy. <laughs> Let's go see who's in the hot tub. Hmm? Mind yourself. Thoric, yes. Oh no. Oh no. It's her again. What is it? She's so broken. Can I help you? By cancelling out of her dialogue the first time I ran into her, I completely broke her AI because now she doesn't leave mm -hmm. this space. Can I help you? <laughs> Hello. Maybe she'll. You want to talk? That's not what I want to do. Okay. Let us get back to it. I wonder if I can lure her out. Maybe she'll fix if I. Nope. Okay. Whatever. Good morning. Can I help you? Feeling clumsy today? Feeling clumsy today? What? What are you implying? Okay. No Argonians in here right now. Any more Civ 6 videos? Um, 
yeah, I haven't played the expansion. Um, I should really pick it up and try it out. And if I do pick it up, maybe I'll make a video with it. Ross, I do not own a PlayStation or an Xbox. I am a PC gamer. Can I help you? I mean, I have a Switch, but Bruma's too laggy for you. A thief that steals. <laughs> I know that was the first new dialogue we've heard out of that lady for a while. Yes, Mardex. Oh, holy crap! Those stairs. Okay, let's get out of here. Wait, is he complaining about the lizard in the hot tub? Okay, let's see what this guy wants. I'm kind of curious now. Can I help you? Oh, the restful watchman. That's elsewhere. That's not here. But I think the restful watchman is where we're supposed to go to find those lost antiquities, the Akaviri antiquities. Thank you, stay hydrated, bot. Hey, what is your problem with the restful watchman? So this guy wants me to go get the Restful Watchmen folks in trouble, but I feel like the Restful Watchmen is maybe actually more Mittens speed, like more of my style. So I think we're going to back out of that dialogue again, but we have to find the Restful Watchmen. Where is it? Oh, I saw a shadow. I guess it was a bird. Where is the Restful Watchmen? Upper class house. I bet you this is a player ownable house. He's a high elf, don't do anything. I agree. Hydrobot got us all blessed with the water, yes. Thank you, Hydrobot. This does not look like Bruma Synod Conclave. And this is the blacksmith over here. Oh, we should go sell our junk, eh? Shop, the, the best weapons and armor in all Cyrodiil. The best weapons and armor in all Cyrodiil. Alright, let's sell some junk here. Oh, the blades armor comes in and it's like very low. I want to keep one set of blades armor at least. But I think um, Mittens has some stuff, or Inigo has some stuff on him. Hmm. Do I have my... Trying to figure out what amulet I had on, because I have the one that gives me better monies. But whatever. Good, she's got lots of money. I can dump all this junk, or a lot of it anyway. I'm gonna keep my elven light helm because technically it's much more useful than my. Third era Colovian fur helmet, but Iliad arrows, seventy arrows, steel arrows. All right, I should have helped clear out our inventory a little bit. Bye. I wonder if there's anyone who actually supports the high elves. I don't know. Are Argonians considered lizards? What you mean, like biologically, in like real world terms? I don't think so. Somehow, I feel like they break a few rules of lizards, like. I don't know. Miles, you should play Skyrim. It's so good. Elder Scrolls 7 Thalmor, please no. I could have given an eagle the arrows, Frank Bro, that's true, but I think he just conjures up arrows out of nowhere anyway, so I don't know if it matters. You give me best equipment, yes? And I will sell an ego's stuff, definitely. Um Okay, uh, he's going to carry all my books for now because I don't want to have to. Ebony Sword he uses. He can carry Glenroy's Akaviri Katana and the Ebony Bow. Um, I'm going to let him keep one set of Blades Armor. Um, he has got an Imperial Silver Cloak on right now. What kind of cloak do I have on right now? 
cloak imperial gold all right we got to be matching so i'm taking a silver cloak and you can wear the gold one if i just take all this armor he might uh yeah now he's wearing the blade stuff excellent but now the blades gauntlets what's he got oh barbarian gauntlets there now he's wearing full or he's just really broken oh my god something's not working <laughs> He goes like invisible. What is going on here? Okay, well, I guess I'll give back some of that other stuff. Oh, yeah, I have no idea what happened there. Pooling our resources. Um Okay, let's give him back what? Probably uh, Imperial Light. Do we have a full set of Imperial Light? Or no, the Colovian fur armor is what he was wearing. How are these different? They're the same. Give him back that. Give him back the Barbarian Gauntlets. Give him back the Imperial Light boots. He can keep wearing what he was wearing. But I'll let him keep a set of uh, Let us get back to it. Want to buy stuff? Find goods for sale under one roof. Just seven cross country. Welcome. Did I see the gif of Zuck where someone has superimposed an oblivion personality wheel? Yes, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. I'm sorry, my stomach is growling, guys. I haven't had a lot to eat. I had to very quickly run home and just scarf down some food, but I didn't have a lot. Uh, okay. Let's get rid of iron armor, blades armor. I think this is all extras. Oh, crap, she's out of whatever, sure. Uh, who else can we sell stuff to? Can we sell stuff to this guy? Does he have different money pool? No, he does not. Talk to you later. Alright. You're arguing if Zuckerberg is an android or a lizard? I wish I knew what my issues with this mod were, like why some of the stuff just isn't working. Like that blades armor, it's obviously not working on Inigo. Wait, I did not mean to come into the fighter's guild. I wanted to go into... Where was the general trader? General goods? Maybe it was up here. So I want to sell off more junk. General of you in. Am I stupid? There was a general trader, wasn't there? Uh, maybe it was down here. There we go. I knew it was around. Yeah, so Mardex, you have to keep refreshing the stream. For what it's worth, my... Uh, my bitrate has been pretty steady for a while, and actually my drop frames have, have gone down, so... Greetings, greetings. Welcome to Ice Wind Traders. Yes, if we don't have it, want to you be. don't need it. From bread to battle axes, spoons to swords. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Alright, alright, alright. So let's get rid of the last of our junk here. Should we get rid of Renaud's cheap loot? I think we can. I don't think I'm going to use it. We'll just ditch it. Hang on to that ale, because that's our water. Flute, we can get rid of. Blades, helmet, blade shield, dwemer pan, imperial cape, fine boots. Two, two, two. Empty water skin we'll hang on to, because I will need that at some point. Imperial Silver Cloak, Elven Light Helmet we're going to hang on to, Copper Ruby Circlet we'll get rid of, Amulet of Arcade I should have been using this whole time, but that's okay. Spell Tome Firelight, I should probably, hmm, I should probably learn that, because that looks very useful. Jade Sapphire Ring, Silver Ruby Ring, Garnets, let's sell... There we go. All right. See you. I need a player home. 
around here. Hello, the notorious gamer. I'm not even sure what's going on in chat there, to be honest. You guys are just talking about the Zuck. Four Lots of the Zuck. Roma. Okay, let's go turn in this stupid horse quest. And then I think we go try and find the Restless Watchman, because I think that's uh, an interesting sounding quest line trying to, uh, hello. Good morning. I found, or this one found the missing horse. Oh, where was it? What happened to it? It was north, as you predicted, stolen by some horse thieves. Fantastic news. So it's still alive? I'll go get it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for your help, traveler. Here, have this coin. You are welcome. Oh, my appreciation. Uh, Mittens likes doing good, obviously. Just a, a regular Samaritan. All right. See you around. Cypress Avenue, can you buy the Bruma house for sale like in Oblivion? I don't know which house. There was an upper class house in there that looked kind of generic, like it might be for sale. Uh, I should probably go up to Bruma Castle to find out if there's property for sale. Why don't we head on up there? Miles, battery of 4%. Oh no! I know you can't lean on. It isn't exactly hard to put two and two together. Out of my sight, murderer. Wow. Holy crap, that's cold. Come on, guy. I know you killed Leonard. It isn't exactly You're actually wrong. Two and two together. That was him. Out of that was my all sight, him. Murderer. But okay. Whatever. Dick. Looking for the news. All right. Rafe, you bought Assassin's Creed Origins and were turned off by the modern aspect of it. So you bought Far Cry 5 instead. The modern aspect is pretty limited from what I've seen. Like it's, I've only had one part where I, so far where I've had to go to the modern time, like the contemporary stuff. Um, thought maybe there's more of it How later, do do? I don't know. I would imagine this looks kind of like the slums. Here we go, the restful watchman. Hurry before your battery <laughs> dies, Miles. Hurry and do what? Master X Troll. Yeah, I almost forgot about it. Well, I'm glad you're here. Let's head on into the Restful Watchman. Meanwhile, something's exploding. This broom is just out of the way. Oh my god, move. Okay, fine. What if I just... What if I just... Come on. Nope, I did not mean to steal thief. that. We've got ourselves a thief. <laughs> Crap. Here, have your broom back. I swear I don't care. Can I just drop it? I was just trying to fix it. Because I walked in the door and bumped it. Okay, dude? There, have your stupid broom. Guards, give you thief. Thief. No, the it's, thief. it's right there. Rizzot of the Resplendent. Enchanter extraordinaire, illusionist incredible, restorer remarkable and destructor, distinguished. He crouches in crevices. What kind of name is that? Food. That's what we do. What do you need? All right, buddy. Are you here to do business? Am I here to do business? I don't know. Beyond Skyrim, Bruma. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, have you heard anything about the stolen Akaviri heirlooms? I don't tend to gossip about my patrons. Bad for business, you know, especially when you're in my line of work. Hmm. Uh, this one has ways of getting information out of people like you. Um, uh, fine. That's Keep what I this thought. on the down line. There's this Breton guy who comes through here every now and again. He's the easiest guy I've ever seen. Except for me, of course. Got a reputation to maintain, you know? Name's Atien, Or something like that. Etienne. Anyway, he mentioned something to do with Akaviri trinkets while we spoke. Mentioned wanting to sell them, or something. 
I guess he's your man. Uh, where can this one find this ATN? Uh, I don't know. Listen, do you really think I'm going to tell you everything about my customers? That's a sure way to get run out of this business. Okay. Answer me, or you'll lose more than your patrons. Listen, you want me to tell you so badly? Make me. I'm not budging until I've been forced to. Wow. Legally. You know what I'm getting at, I assume. Can you, whoever's pushing me around needs to stop. Okay, I'm gonna cast some light in here, first of all, because I can't. Actually, let's go try. Is that firelight? I'm curious what that looks like. Spell tone firelight. Let's go, magic. Firelight. Good morning. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Uh, I feel like... There you go. It's like the candlelight, but more fiery. Kind of floats above my head. How fantastic! Okay. How fantastic! He does sound a bit like Kylo, doesn't he? K-A-18-M is not here. It's true. I have not seen them tonight. Alright. What if I pulled out my weapon and talked to him again? Mm. Uh, do you ever run into trouble given your taverns and shady reputation? Well, honestly, sometimes I do. Meanwhile, I'm only lip sync is broken. Because I suspect you might be able to help me out. You see, there's this snooty Altmer that came through here see a few days back. One of those oh. haughty Alanor types, newcomer to Bruma. Day Day, welcome. Well, he came here not realizing that the Gerald view might have been more to his tastes. After he oh, he's talking about that other high elf. Oh, you know, morally gray activities and an exceptional display of promiscuity. Well, he decided to leave. Now, in his outrage, I think we have to side with this guy. He's planning to try and press Walrus, I did not notice your joke. Sorry. If you could just talk him down, I'd appreciate it. Why exactly should Kajit help you? Because I can pay you, and I'm just too charming to resist. All right, he's Why offering money. Why wouldn't you help me? I'll go with that. Uh, this one will do it. Great. He's probably storming around town right now, trying to rabble rouse against the Watchmen. That is exactly what he's doing. Okay, so see you around. We are looking for. Um, find a way to pressure Bentoir into giving more information. Oh, okay, well we could probably go talk to that High Elf. This is tough. We could talk to the High Elf and uh, take his quest on and agree to bring the authorities down to this place, but that is not really what Mittens would do, but it seems like it's directing me that way if I want to get more information out of this guy. Crouches and crevices definitely sounds like a double entendre. <laughs> that was my first thought when I saw the name, but, uh, you know. Punching him applies a lot of pressure. I could stab him, you know, but I don't think that would really help in the case. Good afternoon. Maybe some of the other patrons here know something. Hello. Let's talk to crouches and crevices. I should probably quick save here because it's been a little bit, a little while. This one calls you friend. The prey approaches. Can I help you? You can't just say the prey approaches, not like an Agronian. You have to say the prey approaches. That's how Argonians say it. What is it? <laughs> Stupid broom. Good afternoon. Get out of here. What is it? Come on, let go of it. What is it? Dumrag Grow Morg. Let's have a seat here and talk to Dumrag. Can I help you? 
Mittens is a snitch. Exactly, he's not, which is why it's not in character for me to go turn these guys in. But I feel like I'm being kind of railroaded in order to get information about this guy. I wish my stomach would shut up. So, <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. That was a very sudden sneeze. I hope that wasn't too loud. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's talk to this orc. Literally what dumb, right? Speak. What are you mumbling about? I, that's none of you. I suppose there's no one to tell The hat is not in the vanilla game, I'm afraid. Maybe you'll be able to help. I'm a mercenary. Been one for years now, and I don't often. I'm sorry, Nath King. Nath King. Uh, let me guess, you need a hero to save the day. Cut out the sarcasm. I don't appreciate it. If you want to help me, if you want the honor of working by my side, then you should at least exercise respect. I'd been hired by some anonymous noble to clear out a cave full of bandits near Bruma. Offer some nice coin, too. My wife came with me. We were battle Guys, Walrus is talking about sex. Until we were ambushed. Bandit reinforcements showed up. Out of nowhere, flanking us the way we came. They bound us and gagged us, left us disarmed and defeated. They left with my wife and left me to die. I managed to escape my captivity, but when I got back to the cave, they'd gone, all of them, including my wife. I've been searching okay. for them near a whole year now. No success. Now, I'm not going to narc on these guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mittens doesn't do that. A family-friendly stream. I mean, if you think about it, sexual intercourse is one of the most family-friendly things there is. How else are you going to produce families to be friendly to? It's straight biology, guys. What is this sax? It's an instrument, ASMR Dex. It's okay. It's for smooth jazz. I suppose this one will help you. Phrase. Science rules. Solid, let me know. I'll be here. Bill Nye, the, the science guy. Probably the castle. Ask the nobles, see if they know anything. What is it? Ugly love. Gather information from nobles at Castle Bruma. Sure. Huh? I've given you a task. Dude, mm -hmm. chill. No, I'm literally just sitting in the chair I was two seconds ago. Well, it goes with the most when a man and a woman love, them, love themselves very much, love one another very much. Okay. <laughs> Mariachi Macabre. Report the jazz cabbage. No. Men's ain't gonna narc on anyone. There's a lot of quests around here. I feel like I'm rather unfocused. Please slowly spin my chair and say science rules. That'd be pretty good. I'll do that before I leave for pee break, but if I did it right now, this is attached. That'd be bad. All right, okay. Uh, Zeus Matey, Matey, I do not currently play Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, I own it, I have played it, but I'm not playing it actively right now. Okay, we've got a few quests to take care of here. We've got this ugly love thing, this absent antiquity. I think we should go, I think we should go find that high elf uh, and see if somehow we can manipulate the situation to our advantage where the dude at the inn gives us the information we need, but also we don't have to turn him in because that's not what bros do. And then uh, I am going to... I don't even know what's going on in chat, but I think things are getting inappropriate. Have the beer now that I'm halfway through Cypress Avenue. Uh, it's good, um, but it definitely gets a bit boozier as it warms up. It's better when it's cold. I wish I had a fridge in this room so that I could put it in the fridge and keep it cold while I'm talking to you guys. 
But, but my friends, it is time. Do you know what it's time for? I bet you do. What do you get most excited about on this stream? Let's quick save here. It's time for me to go slam protein bar really quick uh, and take a pee break. And that means it's time for you guys to watch the chair. It's chair stream time, absolutely. So I've got, I've got a compromise for you here because you guys may have noticed that I have uh, this fancy BRB screen, right? Like so. But uh, allow me to improve this BRB screen. Just one moment, just one moment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh-huh. And now, uh-huh, and we're just gonna leave that there. <laughs> oh gosh, what's happening? There we go. Okay, I will be back uh, presently. Be nice and uh, enjoy the chair. Back in a few minutes.
Wait for it. Science rules. There, well that, how was my Bill Nye the Science Guy intro impression? Okay, what's going on in chat here? <laughs> what's what, what, what's going on here, guys? What, what did I just walk in on? I'm a little worried. <laughs> All right, so I guess I can turn off the Be Right Back screen. Nothing, nothing at all. Okay, cool. I trust you guys to be responsible and mature in my absence, so I'm sure that there was nothing strange, suspicious, cult-like going on while I was away. So good. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> you heard the ghost, as usual. <laughs> worried about? Yeah, what would I be worried about? If nothing. Why would I ever be? What would you guys be worried about? Nothing. No cults here. All right, great. I'm glad to hear it. Um, I'm going to have some more of this stuff, which is uh, a little bit cooler or warmer than it was, I should say, just in case any of you were here earlier and you missed it. This is tonight's brew. The Imperial, no, it's not an Imperial IPA. It's a double IPA from Driftwood, the 20 pounder. Uh, but I'm not going to have too much more because this is... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm going to have another glass. There. <laughs> that was my really lame attempt at moderation. Spoopy pirate boy, exactly. The chair spoke to you. What did the chair say? I'm curious. All right. Right there. That one got a little bit more head on it. It's a slightly kind of, it's a pretty creamy kind of head there, actually. It's good. It's a good beer. The chair said, What is my favorite Adra? Hmm. <laughs> that is a good question. I suppose I haven't really thought about it. Debella, not a bad choice. I feel like Mara is pretty chill, you know? Um, I don't know. I never really put much thought into it. What about you guys? What is going on? The chair said... Is that what the chair said? I don't think the chair said that. Okay. Talos or Akatosh. Yes goes with the most creamy head. Weren't you the one asking what intercourse was about earlier? I could have sworn you asked that earlier. <laughs> Debella has the bobs. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Hey, look at that Skyrim's back. Coas, chaos. Words are hard, I agree. <laughs> Can I play Skyrim? I guess so. You sure you want me to play Skyrim? You sure you don't want me to just like sit here and talk about random BS? Drink some beer? Yeah, we can play some Skyrim. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, let's go find that High Elf. He shouldn't be hard to find because he's really damn loud. He seems to like to hang out up here. Who's this? What a day to be alive! Doesn't that cold mountain air just get your blood pumping? Stenar Sino. Let's see what he's all about. That's the problem. There's so much stuff to Remember, do. A life in Bruma. adventure is the only life worth living. The more I drink, the drunker chat gets. Are you guys drinking with Hail, me? Traveler. Are you keeping pace? All right. Hello. Are you an adventurer? Well, I would be, but unfortunately, I've got some debts to pay off. I've been doing odd jobs around town to help raise the septums. 
What kind of debts? Sorry, lad. That's something a man. Yeah, I don't mind this guy. Private. Oh come on. It might feel good to get it off your chest. It might feel good to get punched in the face for being nosy. <laughs> Holy crap. Like to find out? I could murder you. You do realize that that is an option. Hello. What is it? I wonder if well, I can I step be, through this and sorry, lad. That's something a man like me keeps private. Alright, this one understands. Your business is your business. Damn right it is. Too bad. I think I need higher speech level to access whatever quest he's got. Post stream hangover. Fight him. I could murder him, but then I'll never get his quest. This is the problem with playing a murderous cannibalistic cat. Who's talking? Hello? Hello? Good afternoon. Oh yeah, she's the one with the missing husband. We should probably go try and find him one of these days, eh? See you. Hmm. Okay, where's that stupid high elf? There he is. Damnable tavern. Damnable owner. How dare he allow that lizard to engage in such a salacious display? Scandalous. Was it crouches and crevices that engaged in this salacious display? Uh, Bentoir wants you to drop the charges. Ha! That isn't going to happen, I'm afraid. That's it. <laughs> it's a DD squad filled with criminals, rats. I wanted the proprietor to land in hot water with our dear guard captain. He deserves it, no? Hmm. Say, would you help me with that? What do you guys think? Farewell. I really don't want to narc on those guys. It doesn't feel right. Hmm. Sometimes it's tough to roleplay your character, but also, like, play the game properly. <sighs> Holy crap, Saint Walrus. Jack. So Saint much murder. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Holy crap. Sure, let's chat with this lady. <laughs> Every time I see the hat, it makes me happy. Welcome to the Is there anything I can help you? Hello? Uh, do you know of any nobles that hired mercenaries lately? I heard of two raids on bandits in the last few months. They were... There was Operation Strong Arm, and another. The other one was on Amidas, if memory serves. But Strong Arm was my idea. Afraid that's all I can remember, though. Things move quickly here in the castle. I'm not sure what the point of this discussion is, but... Where were the bandits holed up? I, I assume at some point here we might get to go murder some bandits, so... They were holed up in Plundered Mine, as far as I remember. More have probably moved in by now, sadly. I swear, bandits breed faster than skeevers in a keck of black briar. It does seem that way. <laughs> Who did you hire for this raid? I hired... Just some common, everyday mercenaries, really. Nothing particularly special about them, as far as I recall. I don't think anyone has a stuffy nose ASMR dex. I think that's someone sweeping the floor, if I had to guess. Here was the raid successful. Yes, it was. The bandits were cleared out, and the ringleader killed. <laughs> there you go, you guys figured Minimal it out. casualties on our side. Okay, that was a dumb discussion. I do not know what the heck I'm doing. I feel like we've kind of hit an impasse with that one quest. Gerald View Notice. What's this? Dear customer, welcome to the Gerald View, the finest eatery in Bruma at all Tamriel. If you're in need of a room, please speak with our owner and proprietor, Stantis Falaria. Food and drink are served by both Stantis Falaria and his co-proprietor, Hyotra Falaria co-proprietor it sounds like a wife to me the or sister i guess gerald view in staff asmr broom it would be pretty funny if there's someone just in my ear constantly like <laughs> okay um gosh Find a way to pressure Bentoir into giving more information. 
let's head back down to the inn. Maybe we can find some dirt on him and threaten it. Maybe we can find like a ledger or something. Big Double D, welcome. Good to have you out for a little bit tonight. Doing okay, how about you? Thank you, Melinda, I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. I would like to apply or, you know, submit. What in oblivion crap, do you that want? was loud. Oh, this guy looks insufferable. Let's talk to him. What now? Apparently he's a fighter's guild guy. This is the thing, there's just so much in this mod. Find a way to kill him too. I could, I could murder everyone. But that would be just boring because then there'd be no one to take quests from. What does it mean to be in the Fighters Guild? I forgot there's a Fighters Guild here. I bet you they have a whole quest line. What does it mean? <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. We're fighters, mercenaries, hired blades. We butcher and kill. Big for double money D. And we are in Beyond Skyrim at Bruma. <laughs> they butcher and kill for money. Uh, where can this one sign up? <laughs> that attitude, I'd be more than happy to help you. Unfortunately, Cyrus has closed recruitment while the guild goes through some reforms. So there's no way to join at all? Those fence cities in Colovia are still recruiting, but who wants to fight with uncommitted bastards like them anyway? No fighters guild questline? I'm shocked, because there's a fighters guild building here. About those Colovian guild halls. What about them? I don't know if this is gonna lead to quests or not. Whatever, I'll talk to you later. See you. Okay, I vote that we poke around and see if we can find any other ways to convince this guy. Gal, you here to do business? Hmm, how about this? Or this? Uh, this place is filthy. It seems to be full of Undesirables. Apparently, I can't pronounce undesirables. Then go over to the Gerald View if it suits you better. Me, I think this inn has more character than Mr. Stantis Fancy Pants's little establishment. How uh, expedition for when they do a full release of Cyrodiil, I see. Uh, do you get much uh, trouble in here? Because I could make trouble. Seems to me you're starting trouble asking yeah, questions like that. Like that. This is a fine establishment. We don't pretend to be more than we are, though. Now, what can I get you? You can get me some information, asshole. Heard any rumors? Alamu Nethre, dark elf girl. She's wanting adventurers to help her with something. Not sure what. Is she the lady over at the Gerald View? Because if so, that quest is broken. Hmm. Farewell. Let's see about going upstairs. Hello. Don't mind me, just poking around upstairs. Got anything? Anything incriminating? It's probably the rooms. Nothing here. Please, and you go. Please. I am in your way. I am sorry. It's, it's okay. I like how aware he is. How fantastic. The lighting is really broken in here when I use the mage light, the candle light. It doesn't appear to be anything up here incriminating. Nope. Put down here. No, just basic stuff. I don't know. Magic of dusk. I like that I'm hidden right now. Could I literally steal from the strong box right now? Let's try. Cause I think this guy's an asshole. Devote a whole video to the woman. Hmm? 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 Can I help you? Hmm? Can I help you? Flawless amethyst. Yoink. No one even notices. So good. Hello. Now I'm detected. I wonder if I could pickpocket him. 
I guess the light probably makes me detect it. This one called you friend. <sighs> what do you guys think? I mean, check out this dice on the table. I've never seen dice in Skyrim before. Excuse me, my friend. Best ASMR video ever with the mm, lady. Do an ASMR roleplay with the broken version of the NPC. No one would get it except the people who watch these streams. I meant the game ASMR decks, not the country, the province. Hello, the restful watchman. Rooms and food, that's what we do. What do you need? Okay. Talk to you later. I'm gonna quick save. We're gonna go take the quest to tattle on these guys from the stupid high elf. ASMR wandering in Skyrim with a hmm, woman. I am Afana Adichie. I'm part of the Bruma Court. That's nice. That's nice. Alright. Is it just me, or do the people in Bruma really talk a lot? Like, I just walk up to random people and they start talking at me, which does happen in core Skyrim, but not nearly as much as it does here. Okay. It's a GG squad full. I want its proprietor to land it. Alright, I'll do it. As it so happens, I'm a mage by trade. I have access to many magical items from my home of Alinor. Take this. It's a very special memory gem. I have one active at all times, and this particular one recorded everything that happened in the tavern that night. Take it and let the guard captain listen to it. Irrefutable evidence. All right. I'm sure he'll see fit to take action then. See you. I'm gonna take this memory chip over to Inboy and see if uh, I can blackmail him. Scooter uh, 4200, I did see uh, that video actually, the Three Kingdoms, Hammerfell, whatever the heck they're calling that. Uh, it looked pretty neat, although the landscapes looked maybe a little bit empty, I don't know. Okay, uh, what was the item that we were given here? Serendil's memory gem. Can't use it or anything. What's that Too bad. What's that brained Alpmer doing here? This is no place for one of them. You don't oh, think he's that no, one, I am do you? hearing his memories. No, doesn't seem to sort. But he's still not the right type for our little den. Might bring the wrong kind of attention. So what do we do? Stabbing him would be excessive, so. <laughs> I know. Why don't we treat him to a little show of our favorite lusty Argonian maid? <laughs> Perfect. Let's they, go fetch her. They reenacted Here, the lusty coin. Argonian maid. I'd like to buy a little show for my Altmer friend over there. Sure thing. Oh, one other thing. He wanted you to roleplay as lifts her tail, you know, from... <laughs> <laughs> Altmer. Always the same fantasy. That's so good. Sure thing. Hey, darling. I heard you wanted a date with Lifts Her Tail. This is about to get tail. not safe for work, guys. What is the meaning of this? Lifts Her Tail? What a ridiculous name for an even more ridiculous... Oh, my. Zarxus's breath. What an oblivion are you doing? I demand that you put that back on. Ariel, give me strength. Cease and desist. I demand that you cease and desist at once, you cretinous lizard woman. Stop jiggling about. I can't take this anymore. So... I think I'm going to faint. I think... Oh, <laughs> it worked. Otis, you really are a genius. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Explicit. Even know what hit him. Ha! <laughs> they breed them special in Alinor, don't they? <laughs> so, this whole thing is really just a cover up for the fact that the dude, like, <laughs> busted a nut over some lizard lady. <laughs> is that what I'm getting here? Oh dear. Oh dear. An opinionated gamer. Uh, you came in at just the right moment. Just the right moment. Yeah. Things just got weird. What is happening? Jiggling. Ghost with the most. I told you. Things were about to get not safe for work. I'm sorry for your virgin ears. Between. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
That was um, quite the dialogue. I think we can do something with this gem. Let's go talk to this guy. Mm -hmm. Really? We don't have any option to blackmail him with this thing? <sighs> See you. That's super frustrating. Dorks the name, killing the game. <sighs> so what the heck do we do here, guys? We need to convince this guy to give us the information we need to carry on with that quest. I thought for sure that this would be the blackmail chip, or chip that we need. Bargaining chip. Yeah, we can talk to Gord. I don't think he's gonna help us, though. So. Let's see what Gord has to say, though. Oh, Gord. Classic Gord. My weapon wants a temperance. Things want to kill him. Fetch me three iron ingots to temper my weapon and my book of killing so I know who needs killing. Then I'll give you gold. He seems to be about killing. <laughs> Do you always greet people this way? Only when my weapon wants a temperin and things want to kill him. Consider it done. Good. My killing arm's itching to do more killing. Ingots. What is it? Fetch Gort's book of killing from plundered mine and collect three iron ingots for Gort. Whoa. What the heck is that? That was like surprisingly loud. Yeah, I'm disappointed that we can't. Uh... My hammer, a goblin's head, and a mug of ale. Okay, you know what? Screw this for now. He does seem all right, you know. Hello. 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 Let's just go do this guy's thing. Actually, let's stay at this inn for starters, overnight. He is a bit Jane-like, like from Firefly. You're absolutely right. You here to do? What is it? Have I tried pickpocketing? No. You. Good idea. Let's see. Maybe he's got something incriminating on him. Apparently, he doesn't detect me when I'm hiding out back here. So. No, he doesn't have anything. Nothing that would help. Hello. Hello. Uh, but let's uh, let's get a room from this guy. We'll stay at the Can dinky place. Who are these people? These are new people. Anaril, or Anenril, and Harold. Mm -hmm. What is it? Are Bentor and Gort voiced by the same guys? It almost sounds like it. ASMR Dex, there is a book under his it's desk, but I, I checked. It's nothing hmm? incriminating. It's just uh, the magic of dusk, Hello. which I assume has nothing to do with what, what we is? need here. Hello. Wait, is this person? Oh no, they're sitting in the chair. Oh dear. Can I help you? All right, give me a room. A fair price for a fair room. Allow me to show you, you to your room. Hopefully, we don't get fleas here. Well, there's two rooms here, so it's gotta be one of these two. Which one is it? Not that one. Must be this be one. More careful. What if I don't wanna? Louis Zombie Pro 44. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Walrus, you don't know if you should stay or talk to this chick you've been messaging. I mean, why not both? Just stay here. If you need anything no, else, just the real call. solution is to... This guy watched me sleep, obviously. No, you've got to invite this chick you've been talking to to come watch the stream with you. It's wholesome family entertainment. Can you move, buddy? Mind your step. Careful there! Oh my god, I'm stuck. Please move. Please, sir. <laughs> yes, Malin's got it figured out. Got ah, watch where you're going. Holy crap, move. Can I help you? You aren't from Bruma. Did I see you arrive from the north? Who's talking to me? Are you? Did you arrive this from the Sky behind the post, okay. Yes, uh, this one came from Skyrim. This is good news indeed. 
We don't get many travelers from my homeland these days. Talking pole. The roads are too dangerous, and the border controls are too tight. You must be a bit hardier than the usual milk drinkers I have to deal with. Tell me, are you a mercenary? Or do you fight for a higher cause? <laughs> mm, this one's goals are catch it on. Ah, an enigmatic character. One drawn to secrecy, to the shadow. We'll go with Perhaps that. You are just a person I've been looking for. Tell me, if I were to offer Not you a just job, any Twitch a stream. Job promising gore scooter. and glory, but also of the utmost sensitivity. Would you be inclined to accept? Sensitivity sounds perfect for mittens. Yes, Walrus, I'm giving you advice for the ladies. Invite her on out. I'll give her a shout out. How rad is that? <laughs> Versace is better than Gucci. Welcome. You will be happy to know that I told the entire stream earlier that you weren't going to be here tonight. And here you are, so you're making a liar of me, just like Draconis did. <laughs> Speaking tree? It's not even a tree, it's a post. Uh, uh, very well, what are the details? Ah, honor, glory to Skyrim and the Norse. And a modest bit of loot, of course. We are going to rescue a good friend of mine. Of course, it may require you I really to wish I knew what this guy looked like. Dirty. If you head east out of Bruma, for a ways, you'll find a camp near Sidor, one of those ancient elven ruins. Meet me there. Oh, and, um, here. Let me mark it on your map. Wait, no, I need to see the guy. Good morning. Come here. Olaf, come here. Good morning. Olaf, who are you? Alright, oh, he's got a cool mustache. He doesn't seem too bad. You can't really use Snapchat and watch Twitch at the same time. Why ever could you not? Surely you can. But, if you must depart, I do understand. I support your actions. Go get some, Walrus. Make it happen. Your headphones make your hair look like crap. It's not a very believable excuse. Yes, the skooma's kicking in. Mittens is talking to a tree. 60th wheel. <laughs> he moved behind the pole, and he's beautiful. But he did have a great mustache. Ilk Multi. Yes, it does look like the one from the following, uh, falling wizard in Morrowind from Tariel. It is a Colovian fur helm. It looks very similar. What's up there? K uh, gosh, how do you pronounce your name? Kenarakioni? We'll go with that. Yes, Twitch and Smash is the new Netflix and chill. Sure, why not? Why not? Millennials, am I right? It's 2018, guys. Um... So, okay, we've got a few things to do here. Um, we could go collect three iron ingots for Gort, or fetch his book of killing from plundered mine, or we could meet this dude near this alien ruins. Why don't we go get this guy's book of killing? I'm curious about Gort and his book of killing. Oh, thank you, hydrated Hydrobot. <laughs> Always looking out for my well-being, not like you guys. Jeez, no one told me to stay hydrated, except for the Hydrobot. You'll stay until you get a reply. Maybe she'll leave you on scene. Hopefully not. Uh, alright. Yeah, let's get out of this town. I feel what? like we've been just hanging out around here for too long. You come to learn or just to bother an old collector? There are so many NPCs around here. It's crazy. It is nuts. I feel like there's just so many quests. I don't even know what to do first. Your name is Kiyoni. Well, welcome. Kayanara Kiyoni. Okay. It's great to have you here. 
Jay the Kid, what would you stream? It depends entirely on what you would stream. I'm just kidding. I'd stop by. I'd stop by to say hi. There's gotta be a faster way down here. How's the stream stability been, guys? How's it been for uh, choppiness, drop frames, severely thirsty? Hmm. Thanks for the follow, Keone. Uh, gosh, let's eat some food. Cabbage. Chicken breasts are not cooked. Goat cheese, yeah. And a pear. No, it doesn't know what pear is. It's food. It's uh, light. Can this food spoil? Technically, yes. Still severely thirsty. Uh, oops. Is Alto wine considered water? I don't remember. What did I turn into water? Oh, let's turn apple cider into water. I just need to turn everything into water. So I don't die. There we go. Seems stable? Good. Alright, thanks Thorik. Ash Hope. Oh, Restless Harp, welcome. I didn't realize you were here. Sorry if I missed it. When you arrived. Alright. I think where we're headed is just up there. Yeah. If this was Breath of the Wild or Assassin's Creed, I would just climb my way up that cliff. But it's not, so we're going to have to wander our way up there. That's all right. That gives us some chill time for a little walk. You need a new look if you stream. Jay the Kid 415 doesn't make the cut. I mean, it's not awful. Oh, how you guys doing? Are you getting sleepy? I know it's later for most people than it is for me. Now the waterfall sounds are nice. I like the wind sounds too. It's true in Skyrim, you just ride a horse up the cliff. Absolutely. And you're totally right, this chat's turning into a dating advice simulator or something. You guys gotta help him out. We all have to wing man and wing woman. Walrus, okay? Walrus needs to, <laughs> needs to succeed in his pursuit here. I think we can probably go around this way. Yeah, I could always do a live stream just wandering, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'm yawning. Walrus, I'm often up pretty late too. I won't lie, guys, I'm a night owl. I tend to stay up pretty late, but I'm tired tonight. Your Fallout New Vegas keeps crashing, opinionated gamer. I would need to know more if I was going to help you. Chat went from drinks to zucks to sex to science to dating. That sounds like a pretty solid night in ASMR nerd stream chat. Bobby, you were voted most likely to wingman in high school. I'm not sure what that means, really. Is that a good thing? Hey, you should totally take advice from a bunch of us. You have no idea, man. We might be... Oh, gosh, that was terrifying. I think by not doing so... Did that wolf just murder that other wolf? Pretty sure those wolves just murdered one another. Who better to take advice from, Walrus? Nine gigs of mods? Pff, amateur. <laughs> I kid. Listen to Ghost with the most. They know what they're talking about. Am I doing anything interesting in work or school right now? 
Oh boy. Um, sort of. I'm preparing a report that summarizes basically the work I've done over the last year uh, in hopes that I can get some money out of it. Uh, and it seems like I probably will. I'm kind of curious what uh, these like house icons on my screen are. There's one of them up ahead. Let's find out. The report is less interesting and more stressful than anything though. Yeah, Walrus, tell her about your cool ASMR friends. Bruma that way. God, that resolution. Mountain watch. Much better. Ah, oh, this looks nice. What is this? Gautier Manor. Ooh, he looks unfriendly. This seems like uh, maybe somewhere that I shouldn't be, but let's maybe we can sneak our way in or something. If there's a guard, there's probably... Oh, I just realized Mittens is getting cold. Big Double D, have a good night. The ball is in her court, if you know what I mean. The implication, you see. Okay, it seems there's no way in except that front door, and this guy's gonna get mad if I get close. But I do need to warm up, huh? Don't want to freeze to death. Okay. You once dated a girl and you didn't talk the entire relationship. How did the relationship start if you didn't talk? I'm really curious. Is this where I need to go? Did you communicate with hand signals? Smoke signals? How did it end? Another very good question. Compelling questions. They're both mute. Is this like the shape of water? Did you give her eggs? Hard boiled eggs? <laughs> That's Bear. Bear sees me. I need to sneak up on Bear or else I'm gonna get murdered. Murderated. All right, let's see if we can sneak up on Bear. Sneak around behind Bear. can't see me. Oh, that didn't work out. If I had a bow, I would just... Where did Inigo go? Where did Inigo? I swear we've lost him somewhere. Okay, well, this is going to be important. But... Oh yeah, this is not going to work well. Oh my god, Inigo help. I need you. I need you, buddy. Combat roll. Combat roll. Oh, I just bled out. Whoops. Good thing I saved. Okay, there's Indigo. Why weren't you helping me, bud? I need you to carry me. Okay, we will approach this bear from further away. I just combat rolled to death, it's true. I bled out while combat rolling. Combat rolled all over. All over the snow. Blood flying everywhere. Okay, okay, this is working out. Oh, embossed Nordic strong box. Oh, what's going on here? Fallen Stormcloak soldier. I'm sorry, sleeping bear. I have to do this. Detected? Oh, come on. What? How does that even work? Inigo, help. Save me, Inigo. There we go. Ugh. Wow, that's awesome. He saved me. My hero. Thank you, Inigo. A 
relationship that lasted two seconds. Okay, glad we dealt with that bear. Clearly I did so much. Potatoes, red apples, cabbages, frayed page. Ah, he's got a key for his strong box. Very good. Uh, let's take the frayed page. Let's see what it says. Take the goods, Rangvar, he said. Or he supplied the others as necessary, he said. An easy mission, even for you, he said. Pfft, once again, Ongvir's dropped me right into the path of a giant. And his mammoth. I've given everyone the wrong bloody keys, or and, but I've given everyone the wrong bloody keys, including me. Sure. The guard patrols around here are too heavy. Pale pass Imperials, they're not. But I doubt the Bruma Guard have too many Stormcloak sympathizers among their rank. I imagined I'd be disemboweled if I even dared press the issue. So escape's not an option. What else can I do? Sit here and bide my time? Pfft, knowing my luck. A barrel wander over here and maul me to death, which it did. No, Ranvar, stop being an idiot. Come on, you've got this. Sleep on it, think on it, and you'll be back drowning in meat at Candlehearth Hall in no time at all. Sorry, bud, I got bad news for you. Fortunately. Oh, he said I gave, they gave him the wrong keys, didn't they say that? Or did I not take the key? Oh, I did, didn't I? Ornamented Nordic key. So what the heck is that actually for? Apparently not this strong box. That's disappointing. Last girlfriend you had wanted to have a baby and you were both 19 at the time. Yeah, that's... You know, it's just, it's too young. You're not ready for that at 19. You're just not, in my opinion. I'm sure there are people that have made it work, but uh, I was a dumbass at 19. No joke. Was not fit to be responsible for another human's life at 19. Let's put it that way. Silver ore vein, sure. You were also a dumbass, Chucker Boy Steve. Opinionated Gamer is currently a dumbass. Jay the Kid, still a dumbass. I'm glad we can all agree on our dumbassery. Okay. Oh, we've got bad guys. Can I hide? Is it too late? What if I come over here? Where's Inigo? Oh, hello. Seriously, Inigo keeps disappearing on me. I still have to kill this guy on my own. Oh, that hurt. Oh, but that probably hurt him more. shooting at me. Ghost with the most. You have three wonderful kids, but you still haven't had the sex. The storks brought them, right? Wow, that was vicious. Did you see that? Meanwhile, as she twitches and spills blood all over the snow. Take some ale, because that's my water. Okay. I love how this is just turning into relationship story chat. You guys can become like relationship support group. This looks like a friendly place. Plundered mine discovered. Very good. 
Is there any gear around here I might want? Any items? Oh, it literally says empty. Guys, don't let me forget when I end the stream tonight to see if anybody else is streaming, because I always forget that I can raid people. Oh, hey, I can warm up. That's nice. ASMR decks, I don't want you to be reliving trauma. That doesn't sound good. Inigo just disappeared. I have no idea where he went. Hopefully he reappears when I go into this mine. Well, let's go. And no Inigo. How come he gets stuck like that sometimes? That's really frustrating. Because he was not that far away, was he? Uh, we have a show for him though, don't we? What was that? Let's check. There was a show, wasn't it? Uh, whistle to Inigo. Can you show up, bud? Boy, where are you at? He can't be that far away. Because he just killed that bear over here. There he is. Buddy. What are you doing? You want to talk? Uh wait here. Whistle if you need me, okay? And now if I whistle. Whistle and I will come to you, my friend. I just whistled. You gonna come? If you need anything else, just ask. There he is. All right, what's going on in chat here? I'm sorry, I've not been paying attention while... Uh... Okay, he started following me. And now he's not. Okay, guys, I need your help. Mission, quest objective. I need you to find out what the... Uh, um command is to teleport a player to you because I can stand like over here for instance and I can do this and get Inigo's player ID uh, I just need to remember how to teleport him to me because I don't remember because he's not coming it's like he's this pathfinding broke over here or something I could just leave him but I'm a little bit worried move to is there a dot in there? Move to dot player. Okay. Let's, uh. Because he was following me this way, wasn't he? And he just looks at me. No dot? Okay. Let's try it over here. Teleport player at me? That could be it too. Okay, let's like quick save before we do any of this. You guys get to help. This is a group quest. Which one is the Inigo clone? God, I'm so confused. Move to play player. Let's try this. This could be totally wrong. Eight A E nine? Or do I not even have to do that? Maybe I can just It might be object ID move to player. Okay, let's try that. Aren't you guys glad you're here on the stream today? Helping me troubleshoot an ego again. Dot move to player. Uh, that did not work. Yeah, I got the Don't need to add that. Can I just click them? Move to play. Can I just do that? Ah, uh -huh. there we go. That did it. 
You follow me, bud? There we go. That did it. Thank you, guys. We did it. Quest complete. But a bump. Investigation? No, it would be. It would be. What? What would the skill? The appropriate skill be? There's no investigation skill. I don't know. Some uh, conjuration? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for the help. Versace, what keyboard am I using today? Good question, actually. Uh, I can show it off here, quickly. Uh, let me just... Uh oh SpaghettiO. This is gonna hurt. Oh, Inigo just... Oh no, they all got flattened. Combat roll! Oh, come on. How was I detected before I killed him? Oh, there's still one down there. I'll show you the keyboard in a moment. Just let me let me deal with these guys. Okay, it's really dark in here, eh? <laughs> yes, thank you all for your help getting me to go back. Okay, uh, the keyboard that I'm using today is uh, a new one. Oh. Softly Galoshes is calling me on Messenger. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm in the middle of the stream right now. I'll have to talk to her after. Um, but uh, the keyboard that I'm using is this one, which you're going to see upside down. Uh, it is the Repu uh, V500. It is a 10 keyless board with uh, Outemu brown switches. And it is... Um, well, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'll save that for the review, but I've been testing it out because it's something I'm going to be reviewing in the next week or two. I've also got another board back there, which uh, I'll show you guys on a future stream, but it's a 60% board, another wireless 60% board that I think that you guys might be interested in. So. answer her for you. No, I don't think that's fair to put her on the spot. I'll see if she messaged, though. Uh, I'll just let her know that I'm streaming. Mm -hmm. Hey, sorry, I didn't pick up. Uh, stream. Right now. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go and finish this. Let's get this guy's book of killing. Because that's what we're here for, right? Okay. Yes, I'm drinking spoopy pirate beer tonight. It's true. I'll show you one more time. What time is it? 9.38. All right. Spoopy pirate beer. Very strong pirate beer, which is actually tasting more and more boozy as it warms up, which isn't super surprising. All right, let's sneak our way through here. You won't notice there's 75 of you. Sneak increased. I should probably not have this light if I'm trying to sneak, eh? It's just so hard to see anything without it. Oh, there's someone right there. They didn't see me yet. Oh, okay. Inigo just gets it done. What a, what a guy. I have no idea what, what a race gum is calling someone over stream. Right. Hmm. Is there still someone to murder down here? Oh, so there is. So dead. You know what I've noticed, guys? Oh, take that lockpick and that gold. 
938 where you are too, Trucker Boy Steve. ASMR desk, how's it going? Yeah, exactly. Um, I was noticing that the uh, the firelight seems to cast a much nicer light. Uh, where was that? Fire... Wasn't that what it was called? Firelight, yeah. Well, let's put it... Oops. Let's uh, favorite that. And now let's put that in place of candlelight. And let's see if that looks nicer. I guess I've got both out now. But anyway. Has anyone made an official Discord? No, although I was talking to uh, Moosu, who I believe is in chat here right now, or he was earlier anyway. I was talking to him about the possibility of doing that earlier, um, and at some point, if I do do that, I will be looking for moderators. Uh, thanks, Aniko. And so if any of you are interested in that, you can message me and let me know, um, because I would need some people to keep an eye on that stuff. Come on. There's a few of you who'd be Interested? Walrus. How many lockpicks can I break here? What kind of... No, it's a master. Ugh. I need to pay attention here, guys. I need to focus. Okay. Holy crap. I'm going to go out and burn through all my lockpicks. Oh, there it is. There's a... Wasn't it? Didn't you guys see? Yeah, there it is. Shoot. This is terrible. Embarrassingly bad. Oh my god. Did I quick save before I did this? I don't remember. If I run out of lockpicks. <laughs> okay, I think it's down. Sorry, I'm not watching stream chat, but this is really finicky. Got it. Holy cow. Heading out, Rafe. Have a good night. The Book of Killing. Okay. The Book of Killing says... <laughs> you read the most recent entry. Remember to be killing these when I get back to killing. Fifteen minotaurs. Ten ogres. Five trolls. River only. Got my fill of those foresty ones and those white ones last hearth fire. And as many bandits as I can take. What did, what did ASMR decks do? I wasn't paying any attention. Now I need to know because chat's blowing up apparently. And the only way for me to check is to do this. I don't even know. Are we talking about tops and bottoms? Oh dear, guys. Oh dear. Dirty, inappropriate joke. ASMR decks, how could you? How could you? Okay, what the heck are we doing here? We got the Book of Killing. Uh, is there anything else in this? This uh, candlelight spell kind of sucks, eh? Or firelight. It really doesn't illuminate very far. Uh oh, bad guys. Oh, Ooh, that hurt. Oh no. Oh no, guys. <laughs> When did I last quick save? Because I just got cloven in two. <sighs> right back at the beginning? Oh no. <sighs> that sucks. Well, we get to do that again. <laughs> Hope you guys are looking forward to it. Uh, here. Come on over, guys. Come on over, it'll be great. 
I like how they set the trap, so they must know that was there. It bothers me so much when I clearly sneak up behind them and then it doesn't work out. Like, they see me before the strike lands. There was another guy here, wasn't there? God, it's so dark. So dark. Yes, rip mittens. That did not work out. Where is everyone? Okay, well, can we shank this person? Yes, we can. Where is everybody else? Someone right here. can't see this damn thing. I might be hitting Yungo right now. I don't know. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Race bridge, sure. I don't even care, whatever. Bunch of garbage. Who else do we have to murder in here? I have to open that stupid chest again, guys. That sucks. I swear there were others here. Like, where have they gone? Also, the lighting is so buggy in this place. Wasn't there... I'm just gonna dagger these guys to the face. There's lots of copper ore. Is copper ore even a thing in the base game? I don't think it is. I do not think it is. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we can uh, open that chest in fewer attempts this time. Okay, here we go. Lockpicking skill. Let's work on it. We'll save. Let's do it. Immediately break a pick. Oh, I think I saw it there. What's that? Nope. <sighs> Master chests just suck. I'm trying to get these things open. There's no way that I'm not blowing through a million lockpicks. Oh. Okay, well, at least we found the location. Nope. I know lockpicking is a really enthralling thing to watch, but if I get really quiet about it, maybe, maybe you guys will enjoy it more. Okay. There, I got it. I think that was better than last time. to sneak in on oh, these jerks, except I've got the stupid light above my head. But they still haven't seen me. Way to be, Inigo. Way to be. Can we do this? Yeah, we can. Yeah, that's sweet justice right there. That's what that was. Meanwhile, I'm getting zapped to death by... <laughs> well done, Inigo. That's how you get things done. That's how you get things done. Hardly anything worth taking on that guy. Is that two bandit ringleaders? Oh no, I see. All right, well. We've accomplished what we needed to here. Bandit spell slinger. Take some bread. Yeah, we had some falling rocks earlier. Torture tools? What the heck were these guys doing? Oh my god. Key to bandit chest? Ah, uh, I didn't have to waste all those lockpicks after all. Oh well. Oh well. These guys are creeps. Look at all these bones and stuff. 
and you guys are just talking about cooking. Inigo is bait. Inigo is incredibly efficient. He just gets it done. Oh, some lockpicks to make up for my failures. Cheap wine. I'm not gonna, you know, be an elitist here. Take their pie. So anything else worth taking here? Ore barrel. Oh, he wanted three iron ingots, didn't he? Let's find out. Yeah, collect three iron ingots. We have none. I feel like we sold a lot of iron ingots. All right, but I think we're, I think we're just about reaching our, uh, our three hour mark for this. Well, maybe we're two and a half. No, we're two hours, 37 minutes. Copper ore, come on, where's the iron at? Red apples, not quite what I'm looking for. The sultry Argonian bard, oh dear, oh dear. Dare we? Dare we read the sultry Argonian board? B board? Bard? I can't even talk. I blame the beer. <laughs> we'll save it for later. We'll save it for later. Oops, I'll take it though. Please move in, ego. No, you're not invisible. You're in the way. have to whisper read the sultry Argonian bard. Alright guys. Let's, uh, let's, be, uh, let's head on out. We're gonna read the sultry Argonian bard and then that will be the last thing for tonight. It's the sultry Argonian board about a particularly naughty wooden carving. Yeah you guys don't even want to know. Alright. Now that we've done all that. Oh my god, Inigo, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> Buddy. Buddy. Oh no, his pants disappeared again. His body's gone. Uh -huh. Oh, why does this keep happening? You give me best equipment, yes? Oh, he's wearing blade stuff again for some reason. Okay, there we go. Thanks. This is so buggy. Ask. It's lovely out, isn't it? The falling snow here. Just beautiful. Okay, let's uh, let's gather around the fire and read the sultry Argonian bard. That's gonna be your bedtime story, guys. Okay. The sultry Argonian bard, volume one, by Elia Erdane. Act 6, scene 2, continued, croon tale. Uh, my lady, I could never perform your request. Elia Erdane, who is the author, by the way, so this is some crazy fanfic or something, or, or not even fanfic, I don't know. This is like, it's weird, it's what it is. Oh, is it too fast for you? Croon tale says, I fear it might damage my instrument. Elia Aradane says, ah, but you seem to handle your instrument so well, my darling. Croontail, you flatter me, my lady. Elia Aradane, yes, well, it is such a large and magnificent piece. May I hold it? Croontail, oh goodness, no. The innkeeper would never approve of such a public display. Then may I suggest a private performance, perhaps away from the noise of the inn, where we both may enjoy your tremendous talent. Surely you don't mean for me to accompany you to your room. Indeed I do, my sweet. Indeed I do. And scene. Well, that was, uh, yep, that was about what I expected, I guess. And with that, I think I'm going to end the stream for tonight. <laughs> because what better way to put you to sleep than the sultry Argonian bard? And, uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll save turning in those quests for next time. Uh, we have to find those three iron ingots for this guy still. I'm going to give this a little quick save here.
And to be honest, I'm getting pretty tired myself. I imagine some of you are too. It's probably pretty late. Your dreams are gonna be weird now. Yeah, I know. What have I put in your head before you go to bed? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, guys, uh, I had a lot of fun tonight. I hope you did too. Um, it was a good stream. And uh, next week, I think we'll probably carry on with the Skyrim. I'm pretty sure. Uh, because I enjoy this a lot. And I'd like to uh, clear up a couple of these quests that we're looking at here. I'd like to go find this Olaf, Olaf guy and check out one of these alien ruins. So I think that could be a lot of fun. Um, oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to go to him. There we go. And the chat today was pretty legendary. It was pretty good. It was a goofy night. It was a goofy night all around. Um, but I enjoyed it. So uh, thank you all once again for coming out. It means so much to me that you come hang out on Sunday nights. And my life is very stressful right now and busy. And so I really value this hangout time with you guys. Uh, and I really appreciate that you have so much fun too. So thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, all of you. Infinity, ASMR decks, Nath, Nath King, thanks for coming out. Restless Harp, Walrus, Ghost with the Most, Ash Hope. Opinionated Gamer, Malin, all of y'all. It's great having you out. Make sure you go check out tonight's video on YouTube. It is a thief video, and I, for those of you following the series, I finally finished the Thieves Guild level, which has been four episodes in the making, so that's a long one. Um, and we'll be moving on to the next one uh, in the next video, which is the Constantine's Manor mission called The Sword, and it's uh, it's one of my favorites, so I'm really looking forward to that one as well. It'll be coming along. Trucker Boy Steve, thanks for coming out. Tooth Sayer, good night. <laughs> I'm glad you showed up for at least a bit, Black Tooth Bob. Scooter, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, have yourselves a good night, ladies and gentlemen. It was a slice, as always, and I will see you next Sunday. Same great time, same great place for more Skyrim. All right. Thank you, Thoric. Thank you, Jay the Kid. Ilk Multi, thank you for coming out tonight. Great to have you. <laughs> All right. Night, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>